Hey, what's going on everybody? How's it going? John here with another video. Hope you guys are doing well, keeping your vibrations way up high to the roof, to the ceiling, to the roof. All right, so my message today is darkness always turns to light. No matter what, darkness always turns to light. Changing a negative to a positive, AKA the whole collective in the light with all the stuff going on, darkness slowly, one at a time, turning to light. Y'all, there is so much stuff going on right now, like, wow. Like, I just feel like in my heart right now, my soul, so many people are just waking up, waking up every single day. I know I say that in almost all my videos, but it's just like, it's true, it's reality. This is the reality now. We are in the great awakening. We are in the ascension process. People, I mean, there's still a lot of people still asleep. That's, that's facts. Because remember, there's billions and billions of people on this planet, but also a lot of people a lot of mass awakenings happening right now. People are just not buying into this narrative. <clears throat> I kind of wanted to cover really quick. I'm not going to, this is not what this video really is about. Kind of, but you saw Nicki Minaj speaking against the, you know what, the jab. You saw, like, that went viral. I kind of still feel like there's an agenda behind that, though. I question everything. Like, like in this point of my awakening, I question everything that goes on. Everything. Every single thing. But Nicki Minaj, I, like, for her speaking out against these, you know what? The, I don't want to say it because I want my video to get taken down, but, like, now people are... At, we're at the CDC protesting against these vaccines. Like, this is probably waking millions of people up. Or, like, a mass amount of people are being woken up by this. That, about, like, Nick, Nicki Minaj speaking out. I mean, yeah, she needs to be careful. Because I believe they're all, all these celebrities are controlled and... It goes deeper and deeper beyond that, but that's a big thing. That's That was like one of the biggest trends of this week. I think that was actually the top trend of this week. Nikki, like she's big, and her speaking against the B, wow. I'm telling you, it's just like... I don't like no matter what these entities do to keep us at a low vibration to manipulate us it just wakes more people up whatever they do it just wakes people up it's just like I don't know why they bother even trying but more people are just waking up the lights getting stronger and brighter and brighter the darkness is shrinking and shrinking now I just want to say we are going to go through rough times towards like these coming months to the end of the year. We are going to go through, it's going to be tough. It's going to be hard, hard times, but no matter what, we're going to get through it. And just no matter what you're going through, depression, anxiety, if you're going through like relationship problems or just struggles financially struggling, just keep pushing through. If you feel like giving up, keep pushing through. Keep going through. You're going to make it out of it. You're going to overcome it. You just got to figure the ways to deal with it, to navigate through it. The number one thing is to be present. If you feel like your mind is spinning so much, like your thoughts are just constantly spinning, like you just can't control them, just focus on your breath for like five minutes, then move it up to 10 minutes. Just breathe, 
go out in nature, <clears throat> just go out in nature and just focus on your breath. Be present, stay present. Don't get caught up with no drama, just stay in the moment. That's how you navigate through these hard times. If you're present, staying present, being off of social media, Stop watching the news 24 seven. <clears throat> Cause when you watch the news 24 seven, it's gonna drain your energy. If you're on social media, you're seeing so much low vibrational posts or uploads, it's gonna drain your energy. You gotta take breaks from social media, your phone. Just sit outside in your backyard or just go out in nature without your phone for like an hour, two hours. This is you and nature. One with nature. So to navigate through these tough times, you just got to stay present. You got to be patient. Take it one step at a time, day by day. Focus on your breath. Do, do breathing techniques. I might do a meditation on breathing techniques, actually, like just... Deep breaths in and exhale, like just stuff like that. Like, like we are in powerful times right now, I'm telling you. I actually got an uh, event coming up in a few weeks that I'm going to. It's local, it's in my area, but it's like a meditation retreat. It's like a all-day thing. I don't think I'm going to have my phone on me. I'm going to leave my phone off, actually. If, I mean, if we do bring our phones, but... It's like letting go, releasing negative energy, breathing techniques, and just eating organic type foods for lunch and organic drinks and all. Like, I am really looking forward to this. I've never been on a retreat with meditation before, and this is my first time actually going on a retreat. So this is going to be a powerful, transformative time, and I'm looking forward to it. It's a good time. It's a good time in my awakening because I see this as a good time in my awakening because I'm about to be on my two year, two year update with my spiritual awakening because I woke up back in September 26th of 2019. That's when I had my spiritual awakening and I like how this is around the anniversary that I had my spiritual awakening. And your awakening journey, you got to remember, it's a lifetime. It's a journey. There's no going back when you had a spirit, when you have a spiritual awakening. There's no going back. Even if you try to go back to your old ways, you're not going to resonate with it anymore because you know, you you still know all this stuff. You still aware, you're still aware of all the stuff around you. When you have a spiritual awakening, it's too late. You're a different person. We are all multidimensional spiritual beings living a human temporary experience. We are here temporarily. Our soul goes on forever. We are eternal. We've always existed. Our true self, our higher self. When we die, we go to the source. We all collectively go to source when it's our time. And then we plan our next life. We could come back here. We could come back and we could reincarnate into a different timeline of being on Earth. Maybe back in the 19, early 1900s, 1800s, who knows? Who knows? But reincarnation, I feel my soul that... It's real. We have past lives. What do you think? Why do you think karma exists? Deja vu, all that. Proof of reincarnation. But like I said, towards the end of this year, like come the months coming up, it's gonna be very, very, very rough. But I'm telling you, you got to stay on your ground. You gotta stay present. You gotta have your spiritual armor on. 
That's how you navigate day by day through these rough times. Learn to observe, like, when you're in meditation, learn to observe your emotions. Where are these emotions coming from? Where, how, what keeps affecting you? Where are these thoughts coming from? Because those thoughts are not your thoughts. They're an illusion. That's why when you're in deep presence, when you're in stillness, when you're in meditation, you are observing everything. You're not reacting. You're just observing. You're watching everything. You may, you may hear sounds around you, but it's not affecting you. You're just observing it. Everything's an illusion. Who is watching all that? Who obs Who is observing all that when you're in deep presence? That is your higher self. That's when you are connected with your higher self. When you're in deep presence, when you are grounded, <clears throat> that's when you are in deep meditation. That's when you are connecting with your higher self. When you are learning to accept everything around you, your thoughts, your feelings. That's also how you get practice of navigating through these tough times. Don't let things affect you. Yeah, prepare for things, but prepare for things like beforehand, not at the last minute, for whatever comes. Be ready for everything, but just be aware of things. But the most important thing is to stay present. Be on your guard. Have, always have your spir spiritual armor on. Every time you go out in this matrix, it's always a battle. Every day is a battle. But remember, whatever happens, that darkness turns into light. Whatever you're going through, depression, it turns to light. You rise up to a better version of yourself. You gotta let go of these addictions, like go on no fap. I'm telling you, masturbation and porn, you gotta stop doing that stuff. That's... Having a severe addiction with all that stuff, that kills your soul. It really kills your soul, I'm telling you. It just, like, I'm telling you, when you waste your seed constantly, 24-7, you feel so freaking drained and tired. When I would have my relapse moments, I would feel so drained and tired. It's just like, I just can't be in this anymore. So going on no fat, I'm telling you, it's worked. It. It's hard as fuck, but it's worked it. It's the most hardest thing you can ever do in your life. I promise. It's 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 hard, but it's the best thing for you. Remember, darkness turns to light. So when you're on, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I got too much. Yeah, but when you when you let go of these addictions, you become a better version of yourself. And that's the light right there. Darkness turns to light. So like now, all this bad stuff happening, you can slowly see it, the darkness falling and the light rising, people waking up. Getting their power back. Don't give them your power. You always have that power within yourself, always. That's what they want. They want your power. They want that fear from you. Don't hold on to fear. Hold on to love. Happiness. Because that's what they take from us. By being angry. Separating us. Div dividing us. So no matter what happens. The light. I mean the darkness. Is always turning to light. You, We are going to get through this. We're all going to get through this. No matter what, we're going to get through this. Just keep your guard up and stay strong because we're in this together. Remember, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.